In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the Gradebook in Google Classroom with your Synergy Gradebook. Before we get started, you have to make sure that you have connected your Google account with your Synergy account. You will not have the ability to sync between the two accounts until this is completed, so I've created a video on how to do that and will link it in the description below. Before I give you the steps on how to sync your Google Classroom and Synergy Gradebooks, I do have to say one thing. Because of the way Synergy syncs with Google Classroom, you are going to have to create a different Google Classroom for every class that is available in your gradebook. For example, on my screen right now, you can see that I have two fifth period classes. One of those is for inclusion students, and one is for regular ed students. When I go into Google Classroom, I'm going to make sure that I also have a classroom for my inclusion students, and one for my regular ed students. Now on to getting the sync set up. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your classes are created in Google Classroom. Today I will be linking my two fifth period classes, which as I said includes two different sections. Going into Synergy, I'm going to hover over Gradebook and click on Gradebook Setup. When that page comes up, I'm going to click on Class Settings. You'll notice that there's now a Google Classroom column with every class being listed currently to set as off. On the top left of the table, I'm going to click Edit and enable Google Classroom tab for both my fifth period sections. Although the enrollment code says it's optional, I'm going to go ahead and paste in that code to fully sync the accounts. To get the code for the classroom, I'm going to go into my Google Classroom. Click on the section I would like to sync. Click on the About tab. And copy the code into my clipboard. From there, I'm going to go back into Synergy and paste the code into the Enrollment Code box. I'm going to do the same thing for my other fifth period section. When I've done that, I'm going to scroll up to the top of the screen, and on the right, I'm going to click Save. Now when I go back into my fifth period classroom, you can see that my Google Classroom assignments have been synced over into this classroom. 